Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. De Niro was warned about trashing Trump at Tony Awards and didn't listen. Got what he deserved on stage. Trump derangement syndrome was in full swing last night at the 2018 Tony Awards. Hollywood and New York City's elite gathered in the Empire State to host yet another phony awards show for the entitled millionaire class. Every year, these award shows feature millionaire and billionaire talking down to the rest of the world telling us exactly what we should be doing, and how to do it while they live by their own rules, and drink down Paragon, and eat beluga caviar backstage. According to the World Wildlife Federation, the bulga fish is critically endangered. Yet, these elitists will preach how everyone else is destroying the planet, and need to reduce their footprint. This is one of many examples of how hypocritical Hollywood is. They could care less about the earth. They're only in it to make money and live by their own set of rules. If you really want to make it in Hollywood these days, all you have to do is say FCK Trump. That's it. The days of being raped by Harvey Weinstein are over. You no longer have to degrade your body, just your president. Well, that is if the current president is a Republican. Republicans are scarce in Hollywood. The elite has kept them away for as long as they could. With the exception of a few big-time stars like Mel Gibson, Tim Allen, James Woods, and Kelsey Grammer who can't be brought down. We call them too big to destroy by Hollywood. This year's Tony Awards was by far the most disgusting awards show yet. Legendary actor Robert De Niro felt he needed to address how he felt about President Trump in front of millions of people. New York, with a bleep on live television and double fists raised in the air, Robert De Niro got the theater crowd on its feet at the Tony Awards with a rousing political introduction of his old friend Bruce Springsteen that was focused squarely elsewhere, on President Trump. De Niro, a staunch Trump opponent, dropped a couple of F-bombs heard clearly by the Radio City Music crowd Sunday night. The CBS television audience heard D.D. silence instead before he raised his arms, twice, and earned a sustained standing ovation. The legendary actor urged the audience to vote in November and lauded Springsteen for his own political commitment before the singer sat at a piano for a moving performance based on his Springsteen on Broadway show that had him singing his classic hit, My Hometown. De Niro said of Springsteen, Bruce, you can rock the house like nobody else and even more importantly in these perilous times, you rock the vote, always fighting for, in your own words, truth, transparency, and integrity in government. Boy, do we need that now. CBS News Barack Obama brought shame to the White House after the president went on his apology tour around the world. Never in history has a U.S. president done that, yet De Niro claims there is no truth, transparency, and integrity in the government. I wonder how long he's been sleeping. By the looks of his facial hair, I say a long time. CBS wasn't having any of De Niro's shenanigans. While De Niro thought he had the attention of millions of people around the world on the television, he didn't know that he was actually being silenced. No one actually heard what De Niro said while watching Live. De Niro got what he deserved. CBS made sure his little act was bleeped out so you couldn't even make out what he said. However, this morning the unedited versions came out, and the American people are pissed. Could you imagine if Clint Eastwood went on stage, and said FCK Obama? Boy would the crowd turn into a mob. De Niro was warned before about trashing the president. The American people are not going to stand for this crap any longer. Hollywood ratings are already in the gutter, yet they can't seem to get the hint. Trump supporters make up 63 million people in the United States alone. That's not counting the millions of people around the world that have expressed their support for the president. Many Democrats have come out over the last year and have shown their support of the president. Monday, conservatives, including a few Hollywood voices, got their moment of rebuttal on social media, calling the display disgusting and childish and thanking the Oscar winner for helping the president win re-election in 2020. TV host Beers Morgan took the opportunity to ponder why people hate Trump so much they'd rather see America fail than the president succeed. It's childish, pathetic and embarrassing, all the things De Niro professes to hate in Trump, Morgan said of the foul language. And coming as the president tries to forge peace with North Korea, it also feels very unpatriotic and disloyal. Said actor Kevin Sorbo, just because he plays tough guys, doesn't make him one. LA Times De Niro and the rest of the liberals in Hollywood can't seem to understand they're only helping the president secure a second term. The constant lies, disrespect, and fake news against the president has rubbed many the wrong way. Even many on the left are starting to wake up and escape the Democratic plantation. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like 
and subscribe. Thank you.